Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We have just been notified of the passing of the Vice President of Jamaat e Islam, Bangladesh, Maulana Dilwar Hussain Sayyidi, Allah, Allah Yarhamu. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Sheikh Sayyidi was one of the most distinguished Islamic scholars in Bangladesh. He was a mufassir of the Quran and wrote books on spiritual and contemporary issues, including the miracle of the Quran, the hereafter, social life in the life of Hadith. He was fluent in Bengali, Urdu, and Arabic. He taught the Quran for the last 50 years. Millions benefited from him. He was a gifted, charismatic speaker. For the last year, for the last 10 years, he had been imprisoned by the vicious secular regime in Bangladesh, falsely accused of war crimes in a politically motivated campaign by the secular establishment of Bangladesh. We are joined today by Professor Muhammad al Masri, an Islamic scholar, Mufassir, originally from the Hijaz, or what is known as the Saudi occupied Arabia. He, who he has also written extensively on Islamic affairs, and like Maulana Sayyidi, has also been oppressed by the un Islamic regime occupying his land of birth. The professor felt compelled to say some words of condolence and give a reminder for all Muslims in Bangladesh. This is indeed a sad news to hear about the passing away of Maulana Delwar uh, Hussain Saidi. May Allah elevate his rank in paradise. We pray for Allah, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept his struggle and his service to Islam over several decades, maybe 50, 60 years of his life and also his suffering uh, in, uh, in the imprisonment of the uh, viciously secular Kufr regime of Bangladesh. Also our condolences to the family. May Allah grant them sabr and uh, uh, reward them for uh, uh, showing steadfastness and, uh, uh, and uh, Islamic behavior in such a situation, which I am certain they will show and they are committed to. Uh, Maulana Saidi was a very distinguished scholar and uh, for me, as a leader of the Islamic uh, Tajdeed, uh, Islamic Renewal Party, Hizb al-Tajdeed Islami, he was also very important that he was also the leader of Jamaati Islami in Bangladesh. So he was also not only in scholarly and spiritual issues, but also in social and political issues active. Uh, the secularly, uh, the secularly uh, vicious uh, Kufr regime of Bangladesh uh, manufactured accusation against him that he is involved in, in, in war crimes, allegedly committed in, in, in the time of the secession wars with, from, uh, from West Pakistan. At that time, Bangladesh was called East Pakistan. Uh, uh, these are fabricated uh, claims. They have no standing. Uh, most likely is that because he stands for the unity of Muslims and he was against, against uh, the splitting of the country. This is not to uh, condone or praise the Pakistani army because they did commit atrocities and they did not act according to Islamic spirit. And also the leadership in West Pakistan, currently Pakistan, without the word West, was never really a model of Islamic worship. Actually, at that time, and until now, most of the time, they are ruling by Kufr. And they may be not viciously secular, indeed, but they are Munafiq, essentially. And most of them, of the ruling elite, are Munafiq Kafir and agents of the West, especially of the United States of America. Although recently they tried to get away from America, but why to go in, in the arms of another power? They never restore to go to the arms of the Ummah and rely on Allah's power. And this is the correct way. The correct way is that what Allah Sallallahu expressed in the Quran, he, and he addressed his messenger, وَالَّذِي أَيْدَكَ بِنَصْرِهِ وَبِالْمُؤْمِينِ وَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ لَأُنْ فَقْتَ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا مَا أَلَفْتَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ أَلَّفَ بَيْنَهُمْ so, he is the one who supported with his victory, with his sakar, and with the believers. So that's that's the two things which the person needed is the support of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and the the believers. That's all what you need. You don't need any foreign power. You need the believer. You need the Muslim, the common Muslims. Someone said, "May the common Muslim are in a very low state of of, of economic downturn. Uh, they are badly educated, but still they are still good Muslims, so they have." the best intention, and they have the, uh, the purest of, of spirit at least. And they are actually much better and much superior in civil reality and Islamic commitment 
to many of so-called scholar and the majority of so-called secular educated class, which are really essentially a sell out. They have sold out the nation and they are essentially they are Englishmen, but uh, with with our skin and and speak our language. But in, in the in the core, they are English. They are not Bengali, they're not Pakistani, they're not Arabian. No, they are foreigner. Although they appear and speak our language and the skin looks brown like our skin, but the reality is that they are a foreign foreign implant. So the suffering in prison for such a long time, I think it's about 10 years, or maybe more, of Mawlana, rahmatullah alayhi, is nothing exceptional. Uh, imprisonment is, is almost like a prophetic tradition. We have uh, obviously the Quranic story of Yusuf, which everyone knows, who was in prison for several years, which then led to, to victory and glory after that. We have, but also in the time of Isa, Masih, Salatullahi Alayhi, also the, the uh, Yahya, the son of Zakaria, the, uh, is called the, the baptizer, the bapt Baptist, uh, John, uh, the Baptist in English language, uh, has been also imprisoned and then ultimately executed. So imprisonment and even shahada and execution is normal way of, 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 of many mujahideen. Uh, for example, in recent time, we have Sayyid Qutb Rahmatullah Ali was imprisoned and executed by the Kufr regime in Egypt led by Abdul Nasser. So this is nothing to nothing unexpected or shocking. We wish that he could uh, he would have escaped the suffering and maybe migrated to another country and led the struggle from there. But not everyone has this facility and the, the, the condition may be not right in that place. Or maybe he chose to stay there uh, rather than immigrate and, and, and uh, communicate from far away, like we have chosen because of conditions in Arabia dictating that we have, have to immigrate to London and act from London. So that's uh, just, uh, just to let everyone feel uh, content about the, the development. This is not as negative as many people think, because Allah said, addressing the Munafiqeen of Medina after the, uh, the events of the Battle of Tabuk, who were wait, waiting for the Prophet والسلام, and the companion uh, to, to be uh, finished and destroyed by, by the Roman Empire. And the result is that the opposite happened. There was no battle. Heracles chickened out and was afraid. And the Messenger of Allah made treaties and conclusion with the Arab tribes and the local kingdoms in Syria and put the ground stone for the Islamic liberation of the Sham of the Levant. So it turned into a great victory without with no bloodshed, not without a little bloodshed, with no bloodshed whatsoever. And Allah addressed them and said, what you are expecting, what are you waiting for us to, to suffer? We are waiting for two, one of the two good ones. Are you waiting for us to, to suffer one of the two beautiful ones, either martyrdom or victory? And we are waiting for you to suffer punishment from Allah directly or in our hands. The same we say, we say to the Bangladesh regime, which is obviously a blatant kufr regime, and they are, they are essentially a Hindu implant. It's even worse. And, uh, if the if West Pakistan is controlled by British and American implants, these guys are even with the lower the implants of the of the Hindus who are themselves are implants of the British. What's, what's, what's really a mockery that such a great nation, Umma, the Islamic Ummah, is being ruled by such uh, scam? But that will not continue forever, and the struggle, the struggle will continue, and hopefully, Jamaat Islami of uh, Bangladesh will continue its struggle and find a new leader and uh, rally around a new leader who is as stand for, uh, fast and firm like uh, the, uh, Maulana Saidi. To conclude, I don't want to make it any longer. We can only say in Allah and we tell everyone what you are expecting us to suffer, except one of two beautiful ones, either Shahada, or and for the Shaykh Rahmatullah Ali, we hopefully the angels have addressed him already with the uh, with the address for which is being addressed to the believers. Allah Alaihi Wasallam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.